Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. Welcome to the Battle Flowers Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade coming to you from our very own festive front yard. Thanks in part to our partner HEB. I'm Mark Austin. And I'm Stephanie Cerna. We have an incredible show for you tonight with a variety of entertainment and big prizes to the Porch Parade Contest winners. Homes, schools, businesses all being judged by Battle Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau judges. The category for each home includes best use of lights, best use of Fiesta colors, best memory of a San Antonio street parade. And most puro San Antonio for individual winners from all of the residential entries best depicting one of the categories will receive an overnight stay for two at the new Estancia del Norte Tapestry Collection by Hilton Hotel. Dinner for two in the first ever restaurant by famed caterer Don Strange of Texas located in the new Estancia del Norte. A $50 gift certificate from Amol's Party and Fiesta Favors providing everything you need for Fiesta parties and Fiesta since 1949. And a gift bag of Battle of Flowers Parade and Fiesta Flowers and both parade souvenirs, including Fiesta medals. Well, as you know, there will not be street parades this year, so the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau collaborated on this citywide porch parade to encourage and support the spirit of Fiesta. That's right. This competition of decorative homes, schools, and businesses was quite impressive, and all the winners will be announced in our show tonight. Members of Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Association set the bar high. They went above and beyond to decorate their own homes. Although they can't compete, we credit them for starting this new tradition. No street parades, no problem. The Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau are taking Fiesta to a whole new level. When these two join Fiesta forces, there are no limits to creativity and the dynamic duo are going all out. We're unable to have our parades because 70 to 80% of our participants are school age children and they won't be in session. So we decided to come up with another project to keep the Battle of Flowers and the Fiesta Flambeau relevant and generate Fiesta joy. People are longing for normalcy and happiness and we're just so thankful that we are able to give that to everybody for the city of San Antonio. And we are really looking forward to making this a success. It's going to be our first annual and hopefully it'll be a tradition that we can look forward to every year. The Battle of Flowers, unique floral designs dazzle neighborhoods while the Fiesta Flambeau's illuminated displays light the way to Fiesta. Beautifully decorated for Fiesta, the donkeys, the guitar. It's gorgeous. It looks beautiful. Others turn their front yard into a red carpet runway showcasing the latest Fiesta fashion. Welcome everyone to the Citywide Porch Parade. I'm Michael Quintanilla and welcome to Runway to Fiesta. Michael Quintanilla can turn any hat and fiesta attire into art, and they are bold and beautiful. Please welcome to the runway, Rain, wearing my version of the breakfast taco. Remember when Austin said it was the home of the breakfast taco? I don't think so, because San Antonio always wins. Say hello to Titus, because we always need a little bit of disco during every fiesta. Here comes the gorgeous Sila and our tribute to Hemisphere, though I like to call it Hemisphere. And what would be Fiesta without a little bit of confetti? Wait a minute, how about a lot of confetti? This is one of my favorite designs, a confetti suit topped with a cascaron hat, and look what this hat does. <laughs> Closing out our runway to Fiesta is the beautiful Dez, because Fiesta is all about art, isn't it? And in San Antonio, Everyone is a walking masterpiece. So however you celebrate this citywide party, just make sure it's festive and fabulous. Viva Fiesta! Wow, we want to thank the Battle Flowers Association and the Fiesta Flambeau Association for keeping Fiesta alive. Yes, thank you. And we're looking forward to both of the parades in April of 2022. Well, coming up, Black Eyed Peas perform Mamacita and the homes nominated for the best fiesta life in our city. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. Welcome back to the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade. It's time for the talent we've all been waiting for. Jubal from the new 96.1 Now joins us from his studio to introduce our next performer. 
Thank you, Mark and Steph. KSAT 12 and the new 96.1 now bring you the Black Eyed Peas singing their hottest song, Mamacita. <laughs> Mamacita, qué bonita, mamacita. Dame eso, dame beso, dame tu corazón, dame cuerpo. Mami, when you give me body, I won't let go. You the best, baby, yeah, you special. Damn, baby, I don't want you that. First time I see you, I'm like, who that? Dame dulce, dame azul. in the mix and She could have seen during the performance. <laughs> you sang it well. Oh, thank you. Well, no, I'm very familiar with this song. Uh, my daughter Rooney and I, we have danced to this song yep. many, many times. Oh, great job, Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, they were kind enough to put this together for us celebrating Fiesta in San Antonio. So, a big thank you to the Black Eyed Peas for that performance. Well, before we announce the winners, we talked to the judges who carefully selected each contestant. Our Alicia Bedetta interviews some of the judges. Meet the fabulous Elizabeth Campos. Not too many people know. I was Miss Kelly Air Force Base, Gloria Rey, and last but certainly not the least festive, Michael Quintanilla, AKA <laughs> Mr. Fiesta. <laughs> Fiesta spirits combined, this trio makes up the Porch Parade judges panel where more than 100 virtual floats are in the running to be crowned, including businesses and schools. Yeah, it seemed like a thousand. <laughs> schools, and oh my gosh, the school category was so difficult. These kids, some of them decorated their entire hallways and uh, some of them decorated their lobbies and some were so artistic in their presentation. There were several categories, including best use of lights and most puro San Antonio. But what exactly were the judges looking for? For Elizabeth, it was the handmade touches. So you know they went through a lot of trouble to do that. And the store-bought were wonderful too because it added a lot of color. But, you know, mixing in the handmade decorations was, was very special. For Mr. Fiesta. I think I may have swayed a judge or two even. <laughs> he looked for the San Antonio wow factor. See, <laughs> hello, the bling brings it, right? So I was thinking about the parades, you know, the sounds, the smells, the sights of the parades, the marching bands, the royalty. Hours later, they finally came to a decision. It's like the best 
dedicated work I've ever done. So who are the winners? Well, I definitely want to know as much as you do, but the judges, well, they didn't spill any secrets. I guess what's important is still getting in the fiesta spirit and for now, ordering myself a chicken on the stick. I'm Alicia Barrera, Viva Fiesta. Thank you, Alicia. Here are a few of the homes who participated in the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau contest. Oh, look at all these that came in. Very, very festive. Not bad for a first year of this new Fiesta tradition, Steph. I like the skeleton one. Yeah. Great job to all the creative folks who designed these homes. We thank all the neighborhoods across town that participated, but there is only one winner who stood out in this category. And we are taking this party. The streets of San Antonio announced the best illuminated lights. Here's tonight's big winner of best illuminated display. Every year that there's not a pandemic, Fiesta is a big part of my life. It has been my whole life. Good times, family, friends, fun, food. I really like the night parade. I love all the lights. I love all the fun stuff you can do. they do with the lights and the floats and everything. And it's gotten even more and more like exciting with what they do light-wise. <laughs> I tried to take inspiration from both parades, the uh, Battle of Flowers, obviously, and Flambeau, so I kind of mixed them and I made sure to incorporate as much, you know, lighting as I could. I've probably had ideas in my mind of what decorations to do since I was a child. <laughs> like, I like to decorate, I love lights, I love decorations, I love fiestas, so. I love all of the black light stuff. That's not that common of a thing. I painted those big, the big skulls. I got to do black light flowers for the first time. So that was really cool. I cut out flowers from all different color, um, neon, you know, posters and things like that. And so they glow in the black light. Pretty much everything you see out here, very, very little of it was store bought. I came up with everything on my own. Like I said, I created the neon flowers. That was a new thing for me. Painted everything, cut everything out. You know, I, I did it all, mostly all on my own. Um, I made my windows look like pinatas, or that's what I was kind of going for. And um, yeah, that was just my creative brain. I'm a crafter, so I would, you know, sit down in the evening putting stuff together. Um, but it's something I really enjoy doing. I went with a theme somewhere, Clover the Rainbow. Clover is actually my, well, my baby, she passed away. But she's, you know, we pray for a rainbow baby. And that's why we went with somewhere, Clover the Rainbow. Her name was going to be Clover. So. I got to come up with my own theme. I didn't have to stick to any guidelines of Halloween, Christmas. I could go party time, fun time, celebration time, things that make me happy, things that make me feel like I'm celebrating my baby, all those good things. It's helped me heal a little bit and it's helped, it's brought me a lot of joy. It really has. <laughs> I, I love decorating, so. I just wanted to let you know that you actually won the category for best use of lights. Yay, I didn't know they had already picked. You're kidding me. It's exciting! I can't believe it! I thought I wasn't gonna find out until next month. <laughs> oh my god, okay! Happy Fiesta! <laughs> Yay! Wow! Oh my god, chills! <laughs> Oh, congratulate you have to raise your game for next I year. I know she has the lights and everything. I know. Paying attention to all the details. Congrats. Well the Battle of Flowers at Fiesta Flambeau Porch Spray continues. We'll be right back. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. Hi, welcome back to the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade. All month long, neighborhoods citywide have been turning their homes into festive parade floats. And they've used vibrant, colorful, and eye-catching decorations. All the contestants have done an amazing job showing off their fiesta spirit. Now let's take a look at other homes that participated in the Porch Parade contest. Oh wow, look at that. Big homes, small homes, ones with front porches, ones 
without front porches. <laughs> of course, a lot of color and a lot of creativity there. There was a lot of competition in this category. So congratulations to all those who entered by decorating and decking out their front porches. The winner of Fiesta Best Fiesta Colors goes to... Typical Fiesta Colors. The first one in favorite is hot pink. <laughs> And those hot oranges and greens, definitely yellow. Anything that's bright and, um, you know, just shines. <laughs> really gets me thinking about Market Square and, you know, how all the buildings are different colors. And I just love that, that vibe. I think these colors are San Antonio. I think uh, this time of year, it just really brings the, the city alive. We're a city full of color already in life, and these colors are just represent our community. And I think San Antonio is all, that's what people see us as, it's just the colors. Fiesta is like a big deal in our family. It really brings my family together um, this time of year. And missing out on that was just really sad for everybody, heartbreaking. As soon as we found out it was official, my, you know, my mom, my family, you know, we started getting our decorations out, you know, just getting prepared for what event we're going to hit first. Um, you know, so I started myself uh, crafting all these different crowns because I was ready to spread my fiesta love with everyone. It's a big cultural thing for me as well. I mean, being a Mexican American, I'm very proud of where I'm from. But I just went full speed and started thinking everything color, Fiesta, you know, um, everything that represents Fiesta, like the little piñata burros and the, uh, you know, the cactus, the cascarones. Uh, I know my family, we love getting at each other with the cascarones during Fiesta. I mean, especially when we're downtown, you know, stuffing our faces with funnel cakes and such. And a lot of it's handmade by me. Um, I really prefer it that way. I think it, you know, represents me as an artist as well. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> you actually won the category for best color. Yeah, what? Yeah. What? No way! Oh my God! You're kidding! No way! Oh my God! No way, Raul! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna cry! Viva Fiesta! I'm wondering, is there a prize for best reaction? I know, I think she's got it. Unbelievable. Congratulations yes. to the winner. Enjoy all your cool prizes. Yes, congrats. The Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau citywide. Porch Parade continues. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by HEB. Well, the next category is one of my favorites. It's the home that features the most puro San Antonio decorations. So those of you from San Antonio, like myself, have seen a thing or two in our city representing puro San Antonio. It's pure San Antonio style where super fans express their top of the line fiesta pride, right? So let's take a look at some puro San Antonio homes. Check these out. Very original. Very nice. More fiesta flavor. I'm loving all the color. Small balconies, getting in the, on the action as well. Yeah, I'm so glad so many people participated. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. So let's go ahead and get to it. Here is the winner in the category Puro San Antonio. Viva Fiesta! <laughs> oh I decorate for all of the occasions. Since my kids were small, my grandkids. My grandparents decorate awesome. I'm so proud to say that they decorate. I tell my friends to stop by. Kids come around. Every year, people will ask me, when are you going to start putting your decorations up? They will come and they'll take pictures. Anytime we get to uh, celebrate, we decorate. We have came out four times on Channel 12. When I think about Fiesta, I think about the memories that I have with my family. I remember going to the day parade um, 
with my whole family and then at night my grandparents would take me to the night parade and uh, after we would sit on the tailgate and eat turkey legs. Uh, I just remember bonding with them. Fiesta to me is having all my family together, enjoying the fiesta, the carnival, and just having a great time. It was kind of um, upsetting. Especially with COVID, we weren't able to spend time together. And with Fiesta, it was something that we used to uh, bring each other together and party. We just couldn't wait to get out of the house. We were so sad. We just wanted to get out. We really missed Fiesta. When we heard that Fiesta was gonna come around this year, it was kind of like, okay, now it's time to reunite and um, you know, enjoy our community, um, spend time downtown. And see San Antonio like the way we're supposed to see it. Enjoy it. I feel like um, Fiesta is all about the bright music, the colors, uh, the culture, really. And I feel like it is really implicated on the decorations and the, the parade. Uh, that you actually want for Puro San Antonio. Ah! The Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Citywide Porch Parade continues. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. Hi, welcome back to the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade. Up next, all the local businesses that competed in this contest. Now, the winner in this category will be judged on best depiction of the Battle of Flowers Parade or Fiesta Flambeau Parade. They'll receive a four-hour private conference room provided by the new Estancia del Norte tapestry collection by Hilton Hotel. Plus a $100 gift certificate from Amos Party and Fiesta Favors and 10 tickets to the 2022 Battle of Flowers Parade. And 10 tickets to the 2022 Fiesta Flambeau Parade plus a gift bag of parade souvenirs including Fiesta medals. The judges from the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau had a tough decision to make in this category. Here is the winner for Best Decorated Business. Viva Fiesta! I'm a hairdresser at Angelina Carlo, and on her free time, I make uh, fiesta hats, as you can see, uh, fiesta wreaths. It's a fun place to work. I am a hairdresser, hairstylist, a uh, soft sculptor. Um, as you can see, you know, I'm wearing my big red and barbacoa hat, which I created. And I also do these big, huge among us, uh, dolls. Get involved with um, the city, the community, and as you can see, you know, very creative atmosphere. We do hair for the, uh, you know, the Queen's Ball, for the cor coronation. We do a lot of events for clients that are involved in the city with the different events. So doing hair is, is not just doing hair, it's, you know, making flowers, making coronas and having, you know, hats made. And it's a hub of art here at the salon at Angelina De Carlo. This year, well, 2021, um, has been long overdue. We've been waiting for something. I mean, this COVID pandemic um, really set everybody um, still. Very sad, very disappointing, um, but we all had to do what we had to do, and we were all in it together, like everybody was saying. Well, imagine San Antonio without Fiesta. That's what it was gonna be like. So when they announced it, you know, that they were gonna have it, and, we all got excited, got ready. People started calling in for Fiesta hats and reefs. And then of course this parade, Fiesta Porch Parade happened. So yeah, we were excited. We are excited. And San Antonio is not San Antonio without Fiesta. This is a big kickoff to where we left off. San Antonio is about culture, about the arts, you know, food, uh, music. I mean, our culture is just so broad. Also, you guys won for best business. Already? Oh, oh my god! Oh 
and they seem so surprised. I'm like, how can you be surprised? You guys are awesome. They are awesome. Congratulations. Wow. We'll be right back. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. So next category is Best Memory of our San Antonio Parades. Here's a look at some of the homes who participated in the Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade Contest. Wow, and again, thank you for everybody for participating this year in this first of its kind of event. Yeah, uh, was that a booth? That's pretty cool. I had lots of memories of the parades and, you know, honestly, uh, they're all everything's great you know the floats but probably my favorite uh i have to be a little biased i would have to say the longhorn band when i when they come down the street i get chills but honestly all the bands you know the high school bands are really cool to hear and we missed them this year for yeah. sure but they'll be back next year yeah the ut band's kind of hard to miss they're big yeah they're yeah. big uh one of my favorite memories of course covering it for ksat 12 but going down to the fiesta parades with my son who's now in college age so i miss those days you know when yeah. he was younger I, you know like anybody else whose kids are growing up you want them to be this size again I know I'm trying to keep my little girl that size. yeah she's still this size yeah. so cherish it right I, I'm trying to <laughs> and the winner of the best memory category goes to last year when we didn't have fiesta we really were in a place where we actually had to stay home we missed it so much because we always get together with a family and we would always see everybody there at the parade it was devastating for us to not just see the memories and keep that tradition that we have to go every year with the kids. It's nice that it's gonna come back, we look forward to it and can't wait. What you see here is actually a creation from my parents, which they put a lot of hard work into. It's very, very detailed and it's really the culture of San Antonio. It really shows the excitement that everyone has that Fiesta is coming back. My daughters came and helped me decorate. She saw the KSAT 12 Porch Parade contest on TV and she was super excited and said we have to join this and of course we drove straight over here and of course she told me to bring our 12 foot skeleton. His name's Bones. He'll look at you funny. <laughs> <laughs> My parents really focused on the theme of show me your shoes because it's always so much fun. So we take the grandkids, we sit on the first row of the parade. All the people there, they would yell, show me your shoes and they would pick up their legs. We have all of the royalty on the floats passing by, showing their beautiful shoes, showing their boots. It's always been so much fun. We've always had such a great time. I remember uh, them, the kids were like, what are they doing, you know? And we had to explain, you know, that they have the comfy shoes on, they're on the parade wearing these beautiful gowns, but then they show their shoes and they're super comfortable just so they can kind of decorate them. It's just a, a, some, a good memory that we have from the parades. <laughs> so this morning, uh, my mom told us that y'all were gonna come by. So we, she brought, of course, all the sweet bread, tacos, coffee, you name it. Tamales are over there too. Uh, all her friends that she's had for so long uh, came down. They couldn't be more excited to get dressed up in their colorful outfits as if we were having our own little fiesta here. So my parents have lived here for 48 years in this home. So this is our childhood home. So all of our friends in the neighborhood, all the friends we grew up with um, really have been showing their support. Uh, we have some tacos saved for you <laughs> for after this little interview. <laughs> you guys won for best fiesta memory. Oh, <laughs> Wow, they had kind of a leg up with a 12 foot tall skeleton, yes, I right? I was going to say that was my favorite part with yeah. Bones, but I love everything about this. No kidding. Yeah, it was, it's great. Well, after the break, the grand prize winner will be announced. That's right. It's home with the best of everything. The Battle of Flowers of Fiesta Flambeau Porch Parade continues after this. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on KSAT 12 by H-E-B. 
All right, welcome back. Schools judged on best depiction of the Battle of Flowers Parade or Fiesta Flambeau Parade. The Winnie School received a $5,000 Citywide Porch Parade Education Award. It's presented by the Battle of Flowers Association and the Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association to help educate students in art programs here in San Antonio and Bear County. And when schools are back in session, they can have a party with a $500 gift certificate from Amos Fiesta and Party Favors. School with the best, best Fiesta pride goes to... I guess we were all in survival mode last year because we were really kind of, I guess, kind of moving through, still having to teach. We were all at home, and I felt, it, it, being an art teacher, our world is full of so much color. And I think without, you know, the kids in person, and I, it was almost like having a colorless world. We were kind of excited because we started the conversations in class and come to find out since we have um, a pretty diverse population here at Frisco, um, a lot of newcomers to the area. Some of them had never heard of Fiesta. Some of the students had been to Fiesta for years, especially the parades. It was a great opportunity for our local kids, especially the students that are from um, military families that um, might not have ever had that experience before or have recently moved. So it was a great way to get them into the tradition. And I know that a lot of our family members, um, parents have like been excited about the opportunity for their kids to actually take part. Getting them involved wasn't that difficult. Some of them had done some of the activities before, like the paper mache flower or the um, tissue paper flowers or something that many kids have grown up making. So um, it was just an awesome experience for them to collaborate on a large scale installation like this. And, participating in small pieces, but then seeing at the end all their efforts coming together to make something as grand as what we were able to put together. A lot of it came from the kids, um, talking to the kids, talking about what's important to them, what kind of things do they find interesting. Well, I was excited because I've never done anything like this before. My mom, she took a picture of it and she, she gave me a hug after she saw it. I did learn how to create some different things and how to make more 3D objects and how um, to give art more of its life. I think a lot of what they're learning from this project is they're learning a sense of community because it's a lot of people's ideas, a lot of people's experiences all come together to create one work of art. I found a lot of pride in um, getting the kids to pull off something this large scale. Um, this is my second year here at Briscoe as a middle school teacher, so it was great to work in a collaborative process on um, something like this, and especially the opportunity um, that KSAT has given us to participate in a citywide event, and um, the potential of you know, being recognized is awesome. So for the category of best school, you guys won. <laughs> Congratulations, the grand prize winner is coming up. Tonight's Porch Parade is brought to you on Case at 12 by HEB. Welcome back because it's about time to announce the grand prize winner. This category features the best of everything from the decorations to the materials used to the overall party atmosphere created. This grand prize winner will receive a thousand dollar Visa gift card from Toyota. Thanks Toyota for sponsoring tonight's big prize. Plus two nice uh, stay for two at the new Estancia del Norte tapestry collection by Hilton. $100 gift certificate from Amos, four tickets to attend the 2022 Battle of Flowers Parade and Fiesta Flambeau Parade. So here's the grand prize winner for the best overall decorated home in South Texas. We are about to surprise the 2021 Fiesta Porch Parade grand prize winner. Just drove by their house 
It is insane. They went all out. It's like a mini Niosa in their front yard, and they have no clue we are about to surprise them. So we're a couple blocks away. We have the Toyota truck team. They are prepping. They are getting ready. They have this insane <laughs> Pepe, the piñata, and other piñatas. So we're about to roll up on them and surprise them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Be quiet. They don't know. They don't know. All right, come on in. They have, look at this. This is insane. Oh my gosh. They have no clue. This is exciting. Hi. What's up, Selma, yeah. Robert. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sarah Coaster. I'm with KSAT 12 News. And I just want to say congratulations. You are the grand prize winner. Oh. No, it's just a lot of hard work. <laughs> I really enjoy it. When we found out the, about the parade, we sat down and said, okay, let's see what we can do. You know, let's look at the categories and see how best we can show, you know, that, uh, depict that category. And so we picked the San Antonio Street, the memories of San Antonio Street parades. And I just remember all the different things that I remember from a parade. And that's what we tried to do. And so you said you put your husband to work. You're kind of like the, the ideas, and he's like the engineer who puts in all the work. Do all the cutting, the painting, and uh, the so, and sometimes I have to paint about three, four times because she didn't like the color I painted. <laughs> so you hand cut all of these. Yeah, he draws them. He, draws them and he hand cuts, cuts and he paints them. And of course, he's such a good husband. I say, no, I don't like the green after all. Can you do it blue? <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. We work together. Real yes, good. we do. And you've been together since high I, school. We're high yes. school we, we met in the eighth grade. Eighth grade. And she told me no. So, we, <laughs> so she told me to wait one more year. So I asked her again, ninth grade, and she said okay. <laughs> and then we've been together ever since. That's been our mission: is to bring joy to our neighborhood and to our community. So when this pro fourth parade contest came around, I told Robert, "Let's go all out. Let's go all out for for all of San Antonio." You know, and and that's I hope we did that. That was pretty much all fiesta in one yard. Yes, that is so cool. Congratulations. What a great husband and wife team. So Th awesome. Thank you, Toyota, for that grand display with the Tundra pickup trucks. And congratulations again to the winners. Thank you to the Battle of Flowers Association and Fiesta Flambeau Association to all the great sponsors. The fiesta celebration continues with the Texas Cavaliers River Parade this Monday at 7 p.m. here on KSAT 12. Good night. Thanks for watching and Viva Fiesta!